Tattnall Square Park represents the historic centerpiece of several of Macon's oldest neighborhoods, as well as Mercer University. Uh, this Knight Neighborhood Challenge Grant gives us the opportunity to take uh, citizen input and recommendations for going back as far as 20 years in, in, in park beautification, uh, accessibility uses, and incorporate them all into one comprehensive set of design documents. Only two sides of the park currently have sidewalks around them. We want to surround the entire park with sidewalks to make it more accessible to the school across the street and residents in the neighborhood. Uh, we want one of the, the strategies is to build an amphitheater and a fountain and, and gardens and walking gardens and those kinds of things in the park. Well, this year especially, we've noticed that with our efforts, there's been an increase in the use, use of the park by events and festivals and, and other activities. And what we're finding now is that, that to some extent our ability to have larger, more comprehensive events is, is limited by the, the resources of the park, the utilities, uh, the uh, electricity, those kinds of things. Uh, again, the grant gives us the opportunity to go back in and design and, and, and build for larger events. One thing the grant does do for us is it gives us the opportunity to have a shovel-ready project, which I think is going to make funding a lot more accessible. When we find some funding that's available, whether it's federal, state, or local, the idea of having a set of design documents ready to bid is going to be, I think, important in capturing those funds. Well, I think the ultimate dream with Tattnall Square Park is to create somewhat of a Versailles Park uh, atmosphere where you see students and residents hanging out. You can drive by that park on any given day, see someone jogging around the park, see some students reading in the park, kids splashing in the fountains. I think that's the ultimate dream. Um, it's a bridge. It's a bridge into the community from campus. It's an obvious green space um, that we need to take advantage of as a community center point. The multiple uses that uh, Tattnall Park can lend itself to with its size and its character and of course the historic surrounding neighborhoods can be a student recreation area, a neighborhood playground, it can be a place of fitness and wellness, it can also be a tourist draw. I think the Night Neighborhood Challenge is volunteerism at best. It allows all of us to roll up our sleeves and just take those creative ideas, dream big, and there's funding to make it happen. And you're leaving a stamp on your community. You're actively taking part in the movement of the College Hill Corridor. That's exciting. I mean, that's something that can only just be a demonstration project from communities all over to see how when you got great ideas and you have a grant like the Night Neighborhood Challenge where anybody can apply and it's open to everyone, great things can happen.